Hey and welcome to the tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this wavy header graphics inside Microsoft Word using Visual Basic for applications that is using macros. And actually the only required thing is the knowledge of uh, the linear interpolation. If you haven't seen my previous video about the linear interpolation, I will put the link in the description. So without too much talking, let's jump into the blank document and start doing something. So I will open the developer ribbon and open the macros and for this document I will add a new macro, call it, I don't know, maybe wavy header. And in here I need few things. Actually in document I need few things. I want to create a new uh, freeform shape and I have to make sure that it has a certain number of vertices. So when I'm drawing I'm counting one, two, three, then I press enter. So it's got three vertices. And I will draw one more, so I'll say one, two, three, and press the enter key so it only has three vertices. I can easily tell how many vertices they are by just typing u bound function, which uh, gets the number of, uh, gets the array in there. So I will say u bound uh, selection dot shape range first selected object dot vertices. And I will put this into a message box, message box. So that should give me a number of vertices for the first selected object. If I run this, I get three, which is great. If I change this to second selected object, I should get three as well. Okay, there is nothing selected. Okay, I need to have two selected objects. Then I can run this again and I get three for both. Okay, so they both have three vertices, which is great. I guess I don't need this anymore, so I will comment it out, but I will use this selection shape range vertices and I will store this as a new variable. So I will say shape new vertices equals selection shape range one vertices and shape two vertices equals selection shape range two vertices. I still need to store the size of the array, so I will probably call this, I don't know, vert count equals to u bound i'll just copy this u bound i'll probably use the first anyway those should be the same size so i have the uh, shape one vertices the first selected object vertices stored in variable shape one vertex and the second selected object vertices i have stored in the second variable and i know the size so what i will try to do is i have i still need one more variable which will store the vertices for our new newly drawn shape so i will call this shape new vertex vertices and we'll just use one of those vertices for this one that will make sure that it's the same size so now, now what i want to do is i want to go through all the vertices and just make sure that it's in between the first and second shape so i will say uh, for counter going from zero to actually one the first vertex is one to number of vertices of vertex count next counter i want to interpolate between first and second shape so the shape new vertex counter comma one for x equals the uh, shape one vertex counter one for x plus shape two vertex minus shape one vertex and i will multiply the second part by a certain number the parameter t for example 0 0.5 as of you know 50 percent I will copy paste this line and just change the second index to number two for the y position so two 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 so what this does it goes through through every each vertex for our new shape and interpolates between first shape and the second shape position to a position of 50 percent so now when i draw this shape i should get a new line which is in between those two so i will say ec active active da sorry document dot shapes dot add polyline and i will just use this shape new vertices array dot select so hopefully when i run this i should get something okay so i run this and you can see i already did get something and it looks really right so just to quickly visualize what we have done here so we have taken the first vertex from the first shape which is here and it goes to here to the first vertex of the second shape and in the 50 percent position which is here we've drawn a new vertex we've done this also for the second one which is 30 percent is here and for the third one where obviously the 50 percent is around here you can quickly try to change the parameter to any different value so if we change it to line 
0.1 it should be much closer to the first shape I first still have to select those two shapes first so I will select two shapes and run it again with the parameter of 0.1 so this is close to the first shape if I change it to 0.9 it will be obviously much closer to the second shape of course I have to select this those two shapes first so select first then run the macro and the new shape should be much closer to the second shape okay so before we will erase all those drawings first and before we actually try those wavy shapes let's try to make this our macro to draw multiple lines so what we need is we need a new variable called uh, number of shapes which could be uh, like for example 10 and then we need a new uh, loop so for uh, c let's call this c as a counter so the lines are shorter going from 0 to number of shapes we want to calculate new positions and draw the shape and i will say next c of course we want to change the parameter t which is this one so i will, I will call new t parameter equals c divided by number of shapes which, has, which will give us value between 0 and 1 which is exactly what we want so i will multiply this by t parameter and i believe that's it i will select both shapes and run our macro with the number of shapes being set to 10 and you can see we get the 10 different actually 11 because it goes from 0 but so 11 different lines so that's great let's try to do those wavy shapes for those wavy shapes we will not use the freeform shape but uh, instead we will use this curve line again well, same as previously we have to count the number of vertices so one two three four five enter key it doesn't matter how many vertices you want but you have to keep the same number for both shapes and again one two three four five like this if i select both shapes and run this macro i'll lower the number of shapes to maybe like three if i run it no, it kind of works but in a very strange way that's because previously we were dealing with the uh, with just the freeform shape but now those are bezier curves so we have to not draw the polyline but we have to actually draw a curve so i will just change the macro not drawing the polyline but the drawing the curve so instead of add polyline i will say add curve and it should do the trick i will increase the number of shapes to back to 10 and if i select both and run this macro again voila i'm getting uh, those nice wavy uh, shapes and that's basically it you know from this point you can take it uh, to next level by changing the colors line widths whatever i'm pretty sure we'll come back to this uh, topic very soon but for now that's it that's all you need to create those wavy header shapes i will try to do it one more time with just more points so one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's see what this does, and I will probably increase number of shapes as well, maybe to twenty, and we get a different, uh, more interesting shape. Maybe what I can, what we can do is we can just make sure that once everything is being drawn, that it's also grouped together. So inside of our drawing function, I will say with this uh, document, uh, with this shape, do something and with, and if the C equals a zero, I want to select it without uh, keeping the old selection. Otherwise, then, otherwise I want to select it and keep the old selection and if so all the new shapes will be selected and once everything is being drawn i will say selection dot shape range dot group so i will group everything together okay so one more try i will quickly draw two different curves two three four five six seven and this one one two three four five six seven so if i run this one more time I should get a lot of lines but if i show the selection pane though all those new lines should be grouped inside one group and the base shapes are are being untouched here so those are 
those two are the shapes used and this is the like the blend function between those two uh, shapes and that's really it thanks for watching